from Kochi. I wanted to do yoga now, it's 6 a.m. but I am locked in in my guest house, which means I will have to climb down from the balcony, which I have done twice last year. Gosh, why, why? I really hope this wouldn't be necessary, but here we go. <laughs> I managed for anybody that wants to get upset about my safety. Don't, it's not necessary. It's not that high. There are only banana leaves on the ground. So if I fall, it won't be that bad. Um, and I've done it before. It's fine. It's a little bit of adventure in the morning to wake me up. It's been a wonderful meditation. It's so nice to be in Kochi. Seriously, it's so much easier to get up at 6 a.m. when it's just warm outside and you're not like, <gasps> my bed is the most warm and comfortable place in the world. When it's warm, you're just like, hm, I can just get out. Palm trees, I've missed you. There's so many palm trees in Kochi. I love it. Yo guys, the green screen is back. <laughs> All the walls here are green too. That was a wonderful class. Uh, I'm dropping some things. Uh, but already where things are happening. Like, I can do a headstand like any time of the day. You can wake me up and I can do a headstand. And I just fell. I never fall. And the thing is, I was not supposed to do a headstand. Because um, I'm in that time of the month for females, you know. So you're not supposed to do a headstand then. But I was trying to show someone and I fell like badly, like not even in a cat fall. I fell like really bad. I was like, how? And I looked at Shaji, he was just like smiling. And I was like, okay, I'm not supposed to do a headstand. <laughs> Always these kind of things happen here, man, strange. There we go, guys, are you happy? Healthy yogi food, vegetables. Uh, I think this is brown rice. The rice yoy. The food I showed you was more than enough for eight people. When I see the amount of food, I can never believe that it feeds so many people. But it's always enough. No matter how many people come for class or whatever, it, there's always enough food. I'm so baffled by that. Like one time, I think we were with 12 people or something. There was still enough food. Always. <laughs> awesome. Right now I'm going back to my room, I'm gonna work for a little bit and then I'm going in for the afternoon session again. Meditation and a really long yoga class. Oh, it's so nice to be back. I just figured I will have time to show you around Kochi because last year I only had one hour free time between uh, the morning and the afternoon session but I don't have the yoga philosophy class anymore so I have to be there at 2.30 and yeah that leaves us pretty much three hours to roam around Kochi tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and Kochi is not that big so three hours is quite some time so tomorrow I will show you around today I have to work but tomorrow we will <laughs> roam around Kochi because today nothing exciting is happening I thought maybe we can talk about what happened last week when I got really angry at the guy who was disre uh, disrespecting an Indian lady in her own home and also I got really mad at a guy for touching my ass in an Indian night bus so many of you guys apologized on this guy's behalf you were embarrassed you were um, saying how you would hope this wouldn't change my perspective of India and also some of you guys told me like this is why you shouldn't travel solo in India yada 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 now let me tell you one thing <laughs> I adore India just as much as I did before these incidents and actually the worst thing that happened to me ever was in my own hometown so I was out in a club and I was wearing a short skirt which is not a problem at all in Amsterdam and this guy he approaches me from behind puts his hand under my skirt and grabs my crotch so of course you can imagine I went Yugoslavian monkey mental on him also but there was no way to file a police complaint because it was just his word against mine and also like it, it's just a waste of time so no I would never let an incident like this influence my perspective on India I've traveled all around the world these things happen all around the world and I cannot judge India for it it's just a common thing girls get unfortunately girls get raped all over the world people get murdered all, all over the world and for me it's actually quite heartbreaking to see India get a bad reputation for it just before that vlog came online I actually also received a comment from a girl saying oh my gosh what is going on I just read an article how India is super unsafe for solo female travelers and my answer to her was 
Girl, that is such bullshit. These things happen all around the world. People think, for instance, I'm just using America as an example that America is such a safe country, but to be very fair, so many serial killings happen in America. Now, should all solo female travelers stop traveling to America? No, of course not. These are just incidents. And most of the people in a country are super nice. Everywhere I went in the world, people are generally good and kind human beings. So if you're American, please don't get offended. I'm using your country as an example because I just said like the worst thing that happened to me happened in my own home country. I'm not judging America. It's just... Um, I hated that India gets such a bad reputation for these things while it happens all over the world. So these are just my thoughts about it. I would never hold this against the whole of India or let my India trip get ruined or never come back to a country. God forbid, I love India. I would be heartbroken if I would never come back. And of course, I would like to hear your thoughts about it. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any experience with this, if you are a solo female traveler, if you ever felt unsafe. Tell us your story down in the comments below. Thank you guys for being so sweet and so supportive of me in the comments of that vlog. I think you showed everyone what India is about and that these kind of people are just a very small minority and the biggest part of India are just really sweet and kind and amazing people and I love India so yeah. I'm sorry I lied to you I finished only one video and then I was working on another one I was so sleepy <laughs> so I took a wonderful nap <laughs> this weather man this this is so my jam like seriously it's so hot between one and three you have to take a nap maybe that's why it's my weather i like naps i like heat it's so perfect here this dog man he is so happy he's so scruffy he looks like one of those uh, dogs from um what is the movie called but he looks so scruffy but he looks so happy he, and that makes him very cute <laughs> and they're beautiful yes beauty is on the inside right like a completely different human being <laughs> the yogi life thank you <laughs> so nice to be back <laughs> look who I have here Caesar Caesar is seriously the most happy and a little bit the most <laughs> stupid dog you've ever seen but he's so cute he's so happy always and you're adorable you're so adorable you are like a puppy Ooh. <laughs> this is also adorable, aren't you, Lassie? Lassie is a very smart dog. You do not mess with Lassie. Lassie is too smart. Aww. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Very smart. Yogi food. Oh my gosh. I wish you could smell this. This is particularly really good. It's sweet. And the cardamom scent that's coming off of it. Oh my gosh. Nom, 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 nom. It's Saji's daughter, in case you haven't met her before. So, congratulations, Sunny, and thank you for your wedding. <laughs> and the official wedding invitation, guys. It looks like I'm actually going to wear a sari. It's happening, it's happening. Your girl gets to wear an actual sari. I need to get a sari first, but I'm gonna wear a sari. How do you like me now? <laughs> oh, snap, I just realized. It's good I'm doing yoga and eating healthy right now. I need that six pack back to look good in my sari, man. <laughs> Mission hashtag fit for wedding is on. Your girl's gonna go to sleep and dream of wearing saris. Yes, there we go. The fisherman nuts. Wait for it, wait for it. I have to get to the water. If you would like to travel along and see more of Kochi tomorrow, click that subscribe button and then uh, also you can put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.